guys, never assume that you're the only one on the roster. Stick around, we're gonna bet down on it. Welcome to the manhole, it's your host DJ Kevin Kev. Y'all, somebody shared something with me, man, and I'm gonna read it to y'all, man. It was by a female. And it started out by saying that there are two guys that like me and I like both of them. One works at a bar where I frequent, that's how we met, and the other works at a donor center, that's also how we met. Terrible, I met them both in their workplace, I know. But we meet people every day in places we don't expect. Anyway, we're all single, of course. Boy guy wanted to date me, but we agreed to be friends. He only mentioned this once in the beginning of the four months we've known each other. We've never hung out or socialized outside the bar. And also, I was under the impression he no longer wanted to date and be actually just friends. Donor and I have known each other for the past five years. We've hung out a few times, had some nights, messages back and forth since we work opposite schedules, so it was hard to talk on the phone. Text, texting was more convenient for us. He's serious about his career and informed me he, was, he has the opportunity to move out of state. Oh, shit, someone's on. I don't want to be involved in something short term either. I asked him, what is what is this that we're doing or going or have going on? And he couldn't give me an answer at the time. I asked him, but he did say he would like to talk about it at another time. My issue is I went to the bar to celebrate. Bar guy, of course, working that night, and then donor guy shows up. Had donor guy never showed up, I would have ended things with him. Talking, hanging out, flirting, and would have shared a kiss with bar guy. He told me later on that he had planned to have kissed me that night also. Well, Donny Guy did show up, and when Bar Guy saw us together, it did hurt him, and he's va he's valid for those feelings. Seeing someone you like with someone else is painful. Bar Guy and I talk after three weeks of not communicating. It sounds to me like he wants to give it time to heal. He told me he'll be around, but doesn't know at the moment if he wants to pursue anything. So I don't know if I should just end things with donor guy since he plans to move and don't want something short term, excuse me, and I don't want something short term or see how serious it can become and him possibly stay. So in other words, she wants to uh, she's confused on how she wants to handle, how she wants to deal with uh, donor guy and bar guy. Sounds like the bar donor guy, she wants donor guy or hang around with, with donor guy to see if he's going to leave or stay. And that seems like the confusion right there. And then she has bar guy who's hanging in the wind, okay, or in the weeds. Should I try patching things up with bar guy who wanted a relationship by giving time for us to heal and seeing if something can develop between us? I'm torn in two ways and I just can't get my thoughts together. I don't know how to view these situations with an outside perspective and without being emotional, emotionally biased. See guys, that's why I always tell you that no matter how innocent a woman is and no matter how good she sounds on the phone through text messages and how she carries on in a day to day, most women always have several guys that they're talking to. You're never just the only one. You're never just the only one. 
Now, this guy that seen both of them, uh, 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 seen her with the other guy, he's feeling some kind of way about that, which he shouldn't be feeling some kind of way because he should have already knew that it's possibly another guy in the way, in the weeds. See, he should have already knew that. And see, when you go about dealing with females in that manner, always expecting, always assuming that there's another guy, you won't have no problem. Now, she's confused because, to be honest with you, this is a situation where she probably only likes the guys a lot. She's not head over heels about either of the guys because if she would if she was she would have went on ahead and made a decision and the decision would have been real easy for her to make but being that she liked them both a lot then it's going to be difficult for her to make a decision because she's confused if she really really liked the dude that was going out of town she'll be she'll be talking about moving out of town with him convincing him to stay and all kind of stuff and she'll be all she she wouldn't even be thinking about boy guy but she only likes them a lot and that's what it boiled down to. And I always tell you, if there, if you do find out there's another guy involved, man, don't even try to waste your time trying to take a, a woman from another dude. Never try to waste your time trying to take no woman from nobody. At all. Especially, don't never, don't never, ever, ever let her find out you putting in effort in try, trying to win her over. Man, you ain't gonna, man, she ain't gonna never respect you for that. She going to go along with it. She going to bait you in. She going to bait you in. Come on in. Come on in. Because all she know is one thing. You getting in your feelings. You, you starting to become infatuated with her. And to the point where your focus is solely on her. And that's all you thinking about. And, and she just baiting you on in. And once she get you in there, man, she got you. Then you going to start pedestalizing her. Then she going to know you pedestalizing her. And who's going to have the power? Who's going to be in control? Even if y'all was to, uh, uh, the relationship was to develop, you end up getting married. She's always going to be in control. Because guess why? You pedestalizing her. You chased her. You won her over. You got the prize. And she was the prize. So she always going to feel like she's the prize. Always feel like she's the prize. And that's why I tell y'all guys, why I tell you, don't ever be infatuated with a woman, ever. It's all right to admire a woman. It's all right to say, man, man, that's a bad, that's, man, she bad. But don't get, in the, don't get in your mind that she's the only bad woman out there. And yes, you can love a woman. You can also commit to them. You can also respect them. You can also treat them like, like the way you would want to be treated. Have empathy and sympathy. But when it comes down to pedestalizing women, chasing women, trying to win a woman over, man, get that out your head. Because I'm going to tell you, it ain't going to end good for you. Anyway, y'all, I want y'all to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.